feeling a lot of anxiety. Then when it goes hot wings, what happens? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Zach. I'm Jeff Laird, and this is Hot Ones, the Laird Family Edition, the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. wife Kim, my daughter Becca, her husband Peyton, and my daughter Katie. We are going to take turns asking five random questions drawn from the cauldron of hot questions and answering them while eating five progressively hotter chicken wings. Let's start by seeing where everyone is with regard to eating spicy foods. I go for a little more heat, so I'm excited up to a point about this. I like spicy foods. I think this is more recent for me in the past few years, but I really enjoy them. I like different types of spice, um, but I'm not like hot Cheetos type. I don't like just heat for the sake of heat. Uh, I like a nice flavor um, with my heat. I like to think that I enjoy a little bit of heat and I, I like a little bit of spice in things. That said, I also do think like ketchup is a little bit spicy too. So I I think I enjoy some spice, but I have maybe like a low tolerance for what is spicy. I know, uh, I like to kick it up a notch. That last one is terrifying me now. The first hot sauce we have is a Hot Ones, the classic hot sauce. With a Scoville level of 1,700, that means it's about 1,700 times hotter than your average bell pepper. Oh, this smells good. It smells good. good dab here. Right. Gotta put a good amount on it. It's important to cover it, to everyone. <laughs> oh, it's pretty hot. <laughs> it's not ketchup, is it? <laughs> it's pretty spicy already. <laughs> That's the first one. It doesn't have as much heat as you would expect. It does pop it in the end there, but it's really a solid hot sauce. It's really good. It's very good. It's okay. more like vinegar, too. I like it because it's got a lot of flavor to it. it tastes very garlicky. Um, garlicky? Good amount of garlic, but it's not just a bland hot sauce. I think the kick's mostly from the garlic. And it's not too spicy. This is really good. I like this one a lot. Flavor-wise? All right, fine. It's a mild kick, it's not bad. Mm. <laughs> if you had to compare yourself to a food personality, what would it be and why? For example, I'm a hot sauce. That would mean you have a spicy personality. Mm. Maybe like a vegetable of some kind, like a, like a bell pepper, because it's crunchy, but also kind of sweet and also refreshing. I think it'd be like raspberry, because they're like sweet, but a little bit like like tart. <laughs> Maybe like a peach. The outside is kind of, can be kind of fuzzy and soft, but then the inside is more complex. And then, you know, there's a firm pit in there. So there's things that, you know, that are really needing to be upheld. I will do it too. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a layered thing. It is a layered edition. See, there you go. That is pretty good. I, I think I'm like a Pringle. I'm like salty. But uh, I, you can eat a lot. I got a lot of different personality types in that, and it's just in a fun little can that you open up and I go, it's like a Pringle. I guess I would have to go with butter because butter blends with everything so beautifully. It makes every every dish just a little bit better. <laughs> That's what I like to think I bring to the equation. Our next hot sauce is the classic Tabasco. It is peppery and classic. All right, put Tabasco pepper sauce on a Nashville chicken taco. So this is this is nothing. I use this on like eggs and things, and so I do like this normally, but I don't know. I think I like Tabasco, but I will admit this smells stronger than I remember. Hmm. Well, it smells like vinegar, and I don't like vinegar, so see how this goes. It's really, it's kind of like sweet, but it is really peppery. It's very. It's very. That's for sure. That's the only thing I taste. 
The heat comes and it sits at the bottom of your mouth. You think it usually it's more towards the back, but this one just lays flat, like, like on a beach towel. It's just like a lot of pepper, like right there. Better than is the chicken better than the eggs? It is really vinegary. Mm hmm. Hmm. And it's hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't like it. The heat wise, it's sitting down. I can tell it's spicy. It's spicy in the back of my throat. But that's about it. So that tastes like I just poured vinegar in my mouth with a little pepper. By taste, I mean, it doesn't have much other taste than that. It's kind of, actually, it's kind of gross. If you had a chicken, what would you name it? I would probably name it Pebbles. First thing that came to my mind, it eats little pebbles, and uh, I would think that's cute of the chicken, so I would name it Pebbles. Maybe Polly. I don't know, Polly sounds like a chicken name because it bounces around, you know, and the heck is Polly Pack. Holly, that's what I would name it. I think I'd probably name it Chicolata, which I believe is the mayor's chicken in the hit kids TV show Paw Patrol. I would probably name it Stink because that's what they do. They stink. Hey Stink, get over here, you clucking stinker. And if you had a chicken, what would you name it? Henry. The third one in the group of five, halfway there, is Heartbeat Sauce. Red habanero. Tabasco is 2,500. This go though is 4,000. So it's about twice as hot as uh, the Tabasco sauce. This one looks good. It's thick. This one definitely has a scent, but I think it smells good. I like the color. It's like a very bright orange. I didn't know it was hot sauce. It looks like sweet and sour sauce. I've actually had this one before, um, and I loved it the first time, so I'm excited to taste it again. I'm gonna get a lot of stuff on here this time. I have just like a little bit. Ooh. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. Mm. It's good. I like the flavor. It's very lemony um, and peppery. I'm not getting as much heat as I am with the Tabasco. Either it's taking its time, or it's, it's, to me, it's much more mild. It's just yummy. It's, uh, yeah, it's delicious. It's kind of fruity, kind of citrusy. It's so very good. And the heat? Mm. It takes a second, if I remember. It does, and it's coming. Okay, now the heat's coming on a little bit, and as it's going down. And then it's starting to sit at the back of the throat a bit. <laughs> Now it's spicier. Yeah, it's kind of a later kick, but it's good. How's the flavor? It's good. It kind of it's it's sweet, and then it just kind of drifts away very quickly. I actually think this one's spicier, in my opinion. But this tastes significantly better. So I like the flavor, but it is spicy. But I think it's better than the Tabasco. It's good. It's tasty. I like it. I like it a lot better than the vinegary. This or that, either one of those. This is the best one so far, absolutely. I like that one, very straightforward. I feel like that's, these two are kind of baseline ones. This one's kind of good. Ooh. What was something you ate as a child that you considered spicy <clears throat> then, but now it's not so bad? Um, definitely hot Cheetos. That would be like a challenge for my friends and I to eat as kids, and I would eat one and cry. Now I eat them as a snack regularly, because I love them. So. I'm used to think that ketchup was spicy, but I love ketchup, but it has a spice to it. Um, I don't think it's nearly as spicy now, so. Mostly grown up. Sausage, just like breakfast sausage, you know, versus bacon, bacon was, you know, bacon. But sausage, even on a pizza, I would rather have hamburger on a pizza than sausage, because sausage was just too much for my delicate sensibilities. I think when I didn't have like a palate language, I just thought pepper. So I didn't like like big chunks of pepper in anything and I always thought that those were too hot um, because it just kind of stuck and it stung. But now we make like a really good pepper-y pasta and that's like 
not. Oh, uh, maybe not when I was a child, but you know, a younger adult. Um, wasabi, um, you know, with sushi. And at first, I was like, it's really hot, and it still is really hot. But I actually really enjoy it now um, as a spice. It's there and goes away. So um, this is good, though. I I like this sauce. Sauce number four, we're really kicking it up here. This last one was Scoville 4,000. Brain burner goes up to uh, 112,000. It's a significant jump from this last one. <laughs> wow, it looks really hot already. It smells bad, so. It says that there's a zest of lime in here. I'd be very curious to see if I can tell. Hmm. Oh. I brought my milk with me for this one because I'm nervous about it. I'm nervous. Okay. Oh, it smells strong. All right. I'm not really sure, but I did you do the top or the bottom? I'm not excited about this one. It's also extremely spicy. Really dabbing it up. Oh, don't you worry. Oh. Oh, you may worry. <laughs> My mouth is <laughs> It's screaming, don't do it. Mm, okay. So, I guess we just go in. Uh, jump off the deep end, right? Yeah. Mm. Oh, it does just kind of. Mm. Mm. Not a good flavor. Mm. Kind of spreads. Oh, there's the one. Mm. Mm -hmm. And also literal hell. Okay. Uh, it's like, I mean, you know, it tastes, it's just hot. Mm. It just kind of like keeps burning worse and worse. Big bread, check it. Mm. <laughs> wow, it's okay. When you get this far, you can't taste anything. I mean, you get it like, you're like, oh, lime, and then, oh, it's back of the throat. It's. It's one of those, it's just spreading. It hit one point, one point on fire, and then the rest of it is just spreading. Oh, hmm, 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 hmm. Now I know what happened. Oh, no, it's just hot. <laughs> All over hot. No taste, just hot. My tongue, yeah, you're right. My tongue is hot. Mm. Remember that time we had to almost rush you to the hospital because you had a small flake of red pepper stuck in your teeth? That's happened twice. <laughs> I'm going to drink my milk. So is this worse than that? Oh, I'm going to sweat. Okay, this time instead of a question, uh, we're going to do a little segment called Explain That Grant. Uh, we ask each person to describe a, a photo of them that we have found and selected to show them. Uh, from their social media. So, here we go. Here's the Instagram that your sister pulled for you. Please oh, describe God. this photo. What is happening here? Um, mm, I'm not sure. I actually think, I think, um, Becca was straightening my hair in that picture. It doesn't look straight. Um, it doesn't look straight. That's the thing is it's getting there. It's getting to be straight and I took that picture because she put my hair up like that <laughs> to straighten it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh my. Ooh. Unpleasant? Is it as unpleasant as whatever is happening in this picture? Can you please uh, tell us? Well, I want the Burger King. Sure, that sounds good. As part of it, you can get crowns. And apparently, I was crowned multiple times. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm just so emotional <laughs> thinking about it. The time where I was uh, established as Burger King royalty. We got a lot of chicken fries that day. I distinctly remember it was really good. Did, were they hot chicken fries? Not this hot. Mm -hmm. I had a feeling this one's gonna be harder than this one because this one is just murder. I hope you're right. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. Okay, well, maybe I'll sweat a little more when you look at this picture and explain what was going on there. This is actually, this is perfectly reasonable. Because this was at a carnival in um, Spain, um, in Cadiz, and there were, oh my God, 
There was an alien. I think it's the alien from Alien. I just took my toy. I just took a picture with him because he was like there. You know, aliens, the blood in the alien is an acid. And is that kind of what's going through your uh, digestive system right now? You know what? You're supposed to drink an acid, like juice or orange juice, if things are really spicy. So I'm, after my milk, I might swallow it with orange juice. Mm -hmm. Well, here's a, here's a hot photo. Really hot. Here's a hot photo we have uh, from a, a social media post. Now, this social media was, uh, it's old because uh, you're able to go back a little farther than some of the other contestants here today. So can you please explain this? Front page um, media post of you, front page of the Herald. Yep. Yep, I was in the newspaper. <laughs> I was dancing, you could tell. I had gloves on and a fuzzy or feathery hat. I don't know, it was like ballet or something. And you know, they come around and they take pictures of dancers. <laughs> that was me, I was dancing in the newspaper. Mm -hmm. Very good. Real hot. All right, well, your little dance um, <laughs> looks a little bit like something in this picture, so yeah, explain it to us. All right, let's see now. What's going on in this one? Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, that was Easter, I believe, a couple of years ago. Look at OJ here. <laughs> oh, my gosh, that was an error of judgment. Um, I had, I think I made a monkey on an egg, or somebody made a monkey on an egg, and I was reacting to the monkey on the egg, because it was ooh ooh, ah uh ah. -uh. Holy cow, my tongue is radiating like a nuclear reactor right now. More OJ. The last step is Hellboy. Hellboy hot sauce. This one is the legendary AF. I don't know what AF means. Oh, my tongue. My tongue's still burning from that last one. Let's go the level on this one, Hellboy. Uh, so it's about twice as much as this one, at least. So we'll see. Okay. This one does not smell nearly as strong as the one we just had. It does smell more vinegary than Perform. I'm so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it smells bad again. Um, uh. Oh god, it doesn't smell good. It's, it's very thick. I got a salsa-like consistency. <laughs> I'm feeling a lot of anxiety about eating a goddamn chicken nugget. <laughs> <laughs> I can see the little flake of pepper that's making me nervous on there. Mm. I feel like that's not enough. Oh, well, that seems... That's a lot. Well, I know, but... Mm. Uh -oh. <laughs> First off, tastes bad. It tastes like vinegar. Mm. Oh, I don't like vinegar. Mm -hmm. It's not good. It's kind of disappeared. Well, I'm, I'm worried because it's not that hot yet. It's like nothing. There's not really good flavor. This one murdered me right away. I'm worried this one's going to be poison. <laughs> it's kind of resonating everywhere now. <laughs> oh. I swallowed. I swallowed, and it really hit me there. It like hits you right in the back of the throat. It's just, oh, it is popping. You know, like when you look at a map about a disease spreading and it starts small, and then it starts to take over everything, you're like, wow, that's fast. Mm -hmm. Like the heat's just kind of going around. It's kind of like if I swallowed some gasoline, maybe. That's kind of what it tastes like. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. It's the back of the throat. That's what gets you. Mmm. It's just, it's just getting worse. So I think the question should come now. Uh... <laughs>
Katie. Yeah. Which role? This was a multi-part one. Uh, I want this one to. Please. <laughs> which role have you been that was your favorite and least favorite, and why? And dream role. So let's. Just... <laughs> so mom wrote this. Which? <laughs> okay. Which role have you been that was your favorite and why? My favorite role was probably. Um, Adelaide in Guys and Dolls. That was my favorite one because I was crazy. Um, my least favorite role, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know what my least favorite role was. Um, <laughs> I can't think. I can't think. Was, was it guest on Hot Wings? Maybe. Hot yeah, Wings? it might have been this one right now. This what's, was my least favorite role. What's your dream role, though? My dream role? Um, one of them is... Catherine from Newsies because she taps and her name is Catherine and I'm crying. Go! Go! Oh. I did it! I did it though! I did it! It's okay, it was the wrong hand. It's okay. Okay. I'm done. Well, since you're enjoying eating this, why don't you tell me what is your favorite form to eat chicken? It could be this, but there are lots of ways to eat chicken. What's mm. your favorite form? <laughs> I have the hiccups. <laughs> um, just like a really nice chicken breast with like a good sauce on it. That's my favorite kind of chicken. It's so, like, I, like, it's just like burning my tongue, melts my throat, and like it's giving me the hiccups. <laughs> I don't know what to think about that. Um, and it tastes bad. Ugh. You know, it's like, it's like filling the whole cavity of my nose, actually. Okay, well, while that's happening, mm -hmm. will you tell us what's your favorite season and why? Oh, I'm like a, a um, what's that little thing that dances around? A little snowman. Summer? I like <laughs> summer. I like summer. I'm not a snowman in any sense. I'm, I definitely like summer. I like um, <laughs> swim and, and the long days and all of that. See, it kind of, you know, what happens is, it like spreads and now like my eyes are watering and stuff. It's not it's not as bad initially as that yeah, that one was really bad. But this is kind of just really spread all over now. <laughs> so kinda of like the summer. <laughs> While you're letting that sit, uh, give us a brief description of the strangest dream you can remember. The strangest dream I can remember? I can't remember dreams. I dreamed that I jumped into a lake, and the lake was the universe. And I was one with the lake. I'm feeling kind of that way now about this particular last sauce. And maybe that lake was hell that I jumped into. It's really burning now. Tell us, what's your favorite childhood toy? Let's go back for more. Wow. I feel like I'm actually doing okay right now. <laughs> okay. Now tell us what's your favorite childhood toy? Hmm. Um, favorite childhood toy. Uh, I did like my video game systems I, uh, that I had as a kid. Um, but I had this Buzz Lightyear toy that and it's not from the movie, but you could turn it into like a plane, like a transformer, so you'd like move its arms and it would turn into a plane or like a jet. I remember doing that all the time. It doesn't burn as much, it just sits there. It's just on my tongue. My tongue is just a ball of fire. But it's not as hot as this one, which is why I was thinking about going into this. Is that this one, the fourth, it just usually be like the last one is not as hot as this one because this one was terrible and I hated it. But this one's just terrible. I think I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, the Laird family episode of Hot Ones. I know we enjoyed most of it, right? Pretty much. Enough. Uh, the best part is we're going to tie it back into our Cupcake Wars from earlier this season. And uh, Katie has made us some delicious, I hope, not hot sauce infused strawberry cupcakes. So let's enjoy those, shall we? Yay! Sweet. There you go. Can I have a
Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Yay. Yay. It smells so much better than that. Is there lemon? So much better. No. Strawberry. <laughs> no. no. Much better. Thank you. Is this like a four on Scoville? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. It's starting to kick in now. No.